Good morning. Good morning and welcome to Thursday morning, the 20th of January, 2022. And we are rapidly coming to the end of January already. My goodness, how fast the time goes. So, but uh, good to welcome you this morning, this Thursday morning, uh, coming from my study at Sun City Oro Valley, Arizona to peace through the word and uh, hopefully you're having a good week and a good morning already no matter where you're chiming in from and worldwide and so uh, we thank you immensely for your patronage and partnership in this piece of ministry and uh, it is most um, uh, an incredible blessing for us to partner together uh, in this ministry and thank you so much for joining us. Brothers and sisters, this morning I'm going to talk about a subject that uh, uh, I really struggle with, um, and maybe you do too, and that is being patient. You know, there are some people that, uh, I, I'm going to say, really have that gift. Uh, you know, you've always heard maybe the the saying, the patient of Job. You know, Job was very patient through the trials and tribulations that he was going through. Uh, yeah, you know... I'm I'm just not that patient of a guy, you know. I want results, and and you know I want them yesterday, you know, and that hasn't gotten less as I've gotten older, you know. That's uh, that's the kind of way I'm wired. That's and and I'll push people and what have you, <laughs> you know. But so I struggle with this with this uh, fruit of the spirit being patient, but Jesus wants us to be patient. In certain, re in, re in, in, in certain regards, because what does that teach us? It teaches us to rely upon him and not on ourselves. And that's something that's very difficult for all of us. Let, let's just be straight up and honest. It is. Uh, and so the only way we're going to learn to do that is through patience. And when 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 you pray for patience, you're going to get problems and and so on and so forth. I've got my coffee. Hope you do too. Uh, and so I'm going through a journey right now. I've got the virus. I got the COVID virus, and I'm coming out of it. I really am. Uh, the only thing that I, that the residual that I have that's preventing me from being down at peace in the valley right now, <coughs> excuse me, is this cough that I still have. So it's kind of persistent. It kind of hangs in there, which that doesn't fuel my patience very well. You know, I want it gone. Man, I got things I want to do and, and places I need to be and all those other things. <laughs> and, and Jesus says, yeah, 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 yeah. But you're going to you're going to learn some patience here, young man. So so I pray that that's going to bless us this morning as we come together in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, O oh Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Give glory to God, our light and our life. O oh, come, let us worship him. O oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth, and the heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hand formed the dry land. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light and our life. O oh, come, let us worship him. So the passage of scripture that our devotion is going to unpack for us with regard to patience this morning is 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4. And again, this is St. Paul's first letter to this church that had a lot of problems in Corinth on his missionary journeys. And so he writes this letter and uh, he talks on this uh, many, many subjects because like I say, this this church had tremendous problems. And so uh, so he, 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 
he approaches this particular subject and he has this to say. He says, love is patient. Love is. Love is kind. Love does not envy, nor does it boast. It also is not arrogant. So do any of those qualities describe you this morning? Are you patient? Are you kind? Are you envious? Do you boast a lot? Are you arrogant? You know, I think if we really have to be honest with ourselves, we'd have to say yes to every one of those. And why do I say that? It's because we're sinners. Uh, I think all of us struggle with those. And so with those, guess what? Love is not present in those qualities. So that's why we need daily Confession and absolution, amen? That's why you need to be in churches, if, if you can, and receive word and sacrament ministry, the means of grace, the means in which you get forgiveness of sins, the means in which you get encouragement from your brothers and sisters in Christ to continue the journey, continue the battle. You know, when you're out there, you know, Jesus never advocates people to be lone rangers. Isolation. That's never an advocate of God, never. Might be of the CDC in the, in the United States government, but the United States government is sinful to the core. Not of God. God wants fellowship. And that's where you're going to get it. So let's see how our devotional unpacks this for us this morning on this subject of patience. He says, I once spent more than a year being patient for something that seemed unlikely to ever happen. I ignored other possibilities and sometimes doubted my own judgment. But I believed the reward would be worth it, so I waited. I told myself, love is patient. And I prayed that God would find a way. He did. <laughs> Amazing how that happens, ain't it? So in 1 Samuel chapter 1, Hannah waited year after year, hoping to finally have a child. She prayed and God answered, and that's in 1 Samuel chapter 1. And God answered, yes. Hannah's amazing feat of patience is that she waited all that time, enduring scorn and sadness, only to willingly give up what she had waited so long for her son in the Lord's service. You know, she, she, she basically told Lord what she, she said. She said, God, if you give me a, a, a son, I will give him back to you. And she did. And then God blessed her with additional sons. That's how our God works. So the Lord blessed Hannah by giving her five more children. So most of the time, humans stink at patience. Oh yeah, most of the time. In fact, I'll go so far as to say all the time. There's none of us that can sit there and say, you yeah, know, look at me, I'm the... I'm, I'm the criteria for patience. And I'm going to say, no, you're not. <laughs> so we want our reward here and now. It doesn't come and we accuse God of not answering our prayers. And we do. And this happens with Christians. A lot. Okay? We forget that his time is not our time. That his plan is, is not always our plan. We forget that God waits for us too. He waits to hear our repentant prayers. He waits when we are slow to believe his word. All the while, he is eager to clothe us in the forgiveness that his son won for us on the cross. He doesn't give up on us because we're slow. It's a good thing. Instead, his love is patient. You see, Love is patient, love's kind, love does not envy, love does not boast, love is not arrogant. There's only one person that has all those qualities, Jesus Christ. And he does that for us, and he demonstrates that for us. But that does not give us an excuse to sit on our blessed assurance and say, well, because he does it, that does it all, I don't have any responsibilities like most Christians think and do. Just the opposite. That means you work out your salvation with that much more uh, fear and trembling. 
You get busy. You get serious with Jesus and his church and his ministries and get off your blessed assurance. That's what that means. Okay? <laughs> so I pray that that's going to bless you immensely this morning. So let me pray. Our dear God, please help us to trust you to give all good things in your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Pray that's going to really bless you tremendously this morning, uh, as it does me as well. So, oh Lord, have mercy on us. Thanks be to God. In many and various ways, God spoke to his people of old by his prophets. But now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. So blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. He has redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the death from on, the dawn from on high shall break upon us and shine on those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. So glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. So, O oh Lord, our Heavenly Father, <coughs> Almighty and Everlasting God, you have safely brought us to the beginning of this day. Defend us in the same with your mighty power, and <coughs> grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all of our doings, being ordered by your governance, may be righteous in your sight, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, let's pray the most beautiful prayer that can be prayed, the Lord's Prayer, and together we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Brothers and sisters, the Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. Amen. Well, brothers and sisters, thank you so much for chiming in this morning. I thank you so much for your partnership in this ministry, and thank you for taking the time this morning to make that intentional uh, as we gather together uh, for Peace of the Word. Uh, it's a beautiful day here in southern Arizona, and uh, clear skies this morning, so uh, I pray that you'll go out and enjoy the blessings of our Lord. Please be careful, Be stay healthy, uh, you know, uh, you know, I got into some conversations with some people. You know, some people seem to think these that these vaccines are, are a preventive measure. They're not. You know, <laughs> you know, it's just like a flu shot, man. It doesn't present you from getting the flu. You know, this, your vaccinations aren't going to prevent you from getting COVID. <laughs> you know, if you believe that, I got some swamp land for you that I'll sell you real expensive. <laughs> so... You know, but you just may not get it as severe, but which, you know, I think that's the case that happened with me. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff going on here. And I'm not a, I'm, I'm, I'm not convinced in any way, shape or form that any of it is very reputable. So we'll find out in the end. It's all going to come out. And I think there's going to be a lot of surprises that people are going to see. But anyway, uh, I would appreciate if you continue to pray. Uh, I'm on the road to recovery, and uh, hopefully I'll be back at it. Uh, maybe, make, hopefully a week from Sunday. <laughs> Hope so. Hope this cough goes away. But anyway, go out and enjoy your day. Have fun. Enjoy it. Believe me, sin sincerely. Don't let any of this junk weigh you down. You know, don't, 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 don't 
fuel that, you know? Rise above all that nonsense and uh, enjoy your life. Have fun. Seriously. Uh, and uh, so God's blessings to each and every one of you in abundance. The flaps, flaps have been retracted and I convey to each and every one of you tremendous blue skies.